I'm going pretty much all in on this Fnatic draft. Like, if they if they can just win the laning stage, I feel like there's a very small chance for Execration to come back. Maybe we should have like a tag log into into Russian quick uh, quick swap as we do get the first blood in the top lane. Jakiro, well, he did kind of push his limits there in the lane. Pretty happy with that. Palos and uh, Jabs just going to be sharing up the the farm in the lane and DJ. Looking for the wraparound, ult yeah. a beautiful charge coming in there from DJ. And just look at the trample damage, which is absolutely nuts onto this Jakiro. You know what? Even if the even if the Primal Beast is behind him, right? He doesn't really have to fear as long as he doesn't use that yep. phase shift to dodge the stun. Oh, they will kill Jabs in the top lane. Bob basically just respawned. Gets the waning rift out, so he won't be able to teleport away. Yep. And at the same time... Top lane, the Slark is just going to retreat into the jungle, and he's going to find out that he's already being watched by the ward there. Oh, Bob actually intervenes here and finds the Lashrak with absolutely no mana, and that's oh. going to be a Bob kill. I think they finally revealed this ward, but this ward has been here for quite a long time. It's it's not a good position for Jakiro to be in. You want to sit back. You don't want to be the guy joining forces with Trying the Trying to kill Raven. Oh, he just gets his ulti off. Might get yeah. the bird's uh, mini stun on time, but could have maybe led into a kill, but yeah. yeah it's just a, just a casual Jakiro getting killed again. Mm -hmm. Bob's already bought. Get the may play happen here. This would be the better trade if they can finish off the alchemist. Yeah. He's still regenerating. Soul Assumption coming into the tree line, still regening, but Tino will get the kill. So this is actually a really good trade off for Execration. I don't want to say suspicious, but these exact two players have made this exact move <laughs> earlier on. Oh. Let's observe. They might just be too desperate. A lot of players in their natural habitat. They're going to be charging in onto the Vestige. There's a good uh, Fisher uh, coming out from Shanks, but Tino down. Shanks is dead. It will let the puck slide through this time, but uh, that is going to be the first death for Mr. Visage. Raven shows himself under the tower. He's close to his level 2 ulti. Bob is here. Januel is here. Witch There's the stun to block the escape from the Alchemist, but this Witchblade ain't going to be enough. Macro Pyre as well. Ice Path now. They have some damage. They will use the Hand of God pretty early. Echo Sun coming in as well. The charge from DJ will be taking down Aubing. They've got Jabs TPing in as well with the Fury. And they're going to be taking down the Jakiro. This is going to get stunned up as well. Raven still sitting at half HP. Shanks with another Fissure block. And look at the Alchemist kill. And he will finally be taken down as Palos joins in on the Brawl. And Execration will get the kill on the top net worth hero. We just need to match the timing with Fnatic. Like, once they're effective, we need to be effective. So there's the reasoning for the Mage Slayer. And he is going to go for Armel. You are way too deep on this Lesh. Oh, yeah. So no matter what you do, even with the Bloodstone, it ain't going to save you today. And Palos is hunting for more. Stun coming out onto the Jakiro by Raven. Jabs is about to drop. And they've got the grab onto the Slark. He's dropped down to half HP. No ulti remaining. Palos getting hunted down at the tree line. And this Radiance is definitely doing work. They just need a little bit more vision. Where's the Slark? There he is. Let's throw this stun at his face. And that is going to be a bloody concoction spilling on top of this Slark. And Januel might be falling at the same time for Tino. Execration finding a response finding three kills and they're listening to that and then you got this guy called Bob and he just walks out and he's just killing everyone you know pressuring this top tower wanting to take away that outpost and securing a potential second rose for themselves further down the line and execration it's gonna be so hard to fully commit unless fanatic dive which they're doing right now well they are i mean they have zero regard for human life as Abing is already dropping echo slam does slam from shanks to slow them down for a little bit but it doesn't work too much for this side of execration as fanatic just continues to pressure palos trying to build up snacks he does manage to dodge the stun with a dark Gunwell. back look for a kill on jabs Oops. and bob's gonna be helping them out they've got armel and raven sitting at half hp but still the advantage of the ages is there Januel, he's gonna be on the side as palos is looking for another angle to jump in. He's going to go on the chain. Tino is already disengaging. RML will go down. Bob will find a triple kill. Maybe even get the kill on the Slark. Another yeah. fissure from Shanks. And they got Raven chopped as well. Execration. Cleaning house. They're taking everyone. Raven's going to be about to drop. He's looking for Tino. Might be able to get this kill. Yes, he will. But the Aegis mm. is down. And they already got a triple on Bob. And look at this Alchemist melting in the arms of Execration. And he burns as they will take them themselves for yes they did uh, rely on the power of uh, the ages 
Yes. And they got what I wanted in the end here. This is one of the things that I like about Fnatic, that if the fight doesn't work the first time, they'll just reevaluate. like, hey, can we still get our objective? And those birds almost get burnt down. Abeng will keep the less track away. Saving push there from the Welping Ripper. Tino very deep in. And the call comes out from Bob. He will have to reset for the time being. Meanwhile, on the sidelines, Palos has already started building up stacks off of DJ. And on the hunt they go. Raven with his ulti. They've got Palos with the BKB popped right now. They need to cut it for a bit, but the Echo's not coming in. They've got the Ice Bad as well. Let's Shrek is healing, 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 but it's not going to be enough for him. He will just not outlast this fight. Raven gets the chance to jump onto the Visage. Tino dropping low. Charging from DJ. They've got himself the Visage. Another stun from the Centaur as well. Nice micro coming in from Jan. Well, finding the stun. They know the Slark, but still, they are dropping. DJ, he's trying to make a run for it. Palos, he's on the heels of this Primal Beast. And onto the Chen for another one. Quick double kill for him. And Jabs is in trouble. He is going to be left for dead. As Fnatic, they've lost four. And make it again. A second team wipe in a row against the top team of SCA. No way, Raven. He runs to make a run for it. But Palos cuts him short for an ultra kill. He doesn't have the damage. Raven does not have the damage. I'm not even ah. sure I disagree. Like between the itemization on Fnatic and the fact that I we're know. now at 25 Maybe minutes, like I think Slark. I mean, he he looked up from his newspaper sometimes, but I do think that he's about ready to wipe and flush. He's got a three-level difference to any other player in this game. Bob will find the coil of three echoes left from Shaq to take down Jabs onto the next one. Genual DJ Raven absolutely panicking. Armel finally gets the stun out, and this Lesh gets to play the game for a little bit at least, but Palos is just waltzing around them with his shard. On to the next. He's lowering this Lesh. He will take down Armel, and again, up it. Finding the ice path to connect on the alchemist, and that's again four heroes gone from the side of Fnatic, and it's, this is just disastrous for them. Clark DD on the high ground. It's absolutely huge. He's tied up the net worth of the alchemist, and you can see one guy's doing work, the other guy's dancing. Execration with a seven, now 8,000 gold lead. Fnatic go for the smoke. Yeah, they want those. They want those level 3 alts and a beautiful dodge from Shanks, but Tino's not going to be as lucky. He doesn't have anything else except for the shard, but at least they've worn out the BKB off of the Primal Beast, so Fnatic can't even fight anymore. Bob's going to go for the coil onto DJ. Continuing the fight on the sideline, they've got Armel being hunted by birds. Opping in the tree line, the most important controller in the fight is gone. Shanks loading up for the Echo Slam. And he's prepared to use it. Execration will want them to stack up Armel. He's going to be able to dodge with the Ghost Scepter. One for one for now. Bob gets the Yules at least onto Armel. And now the last track is going to be in big trouble. He's going to need some backup from his allies. But he's got nothing to outlift the damage that is incoming from every direction. And Januel, you ain't going to be as lucky. They've got another pounce with the Axe. Palos secures the double kill. Three for one. Roche is up. There goes Roche. They're trying to go for a push in bottom, but they're losing a second lane of Rax already. And Palos with Tino. Tino with those level 3 birds. Some people might opt to go for Aghanims, but you don't really need Aghanims because you don't need to pick off the opponents. Like, they're just running away from you. Alright. And that girl's Armel. He is trying to TP away, but Shanks might as well just use the Echo Slam for it because it is for a worthy target. Punishing Armel for another time. Execration. No buyback indeed. There's only three remaining for the side of Fnatic and only a lane of Rax. So, uh, well, the positive side, you've got less buildings to defend. But Raven wants to go for it. He's going to jump the back line. Oh, he didn't get his BKB off at all. DJ, now he pops his. Abe is being trampled right now. But he is surviving and he is living. He was inside that, uh, that shard from the Slark. No target to hit, so Trample's the only thing going through. Raven's BKB is already spent. DJ down. Make it Januel as well. Fnatic, they're facing their last seconds of this game. Execration is just running them over. This looked very playful. This looked like a puck game, not just from the puck, but from the entire team almost. All that dancing and bobbing and weaving. Very enjoyable to watch. Oh, yeah, Palace is going for Raven. He's waited long enough. Yep, 1v3. 
There goes the Alchemist, and there comes the GG. That's going to be a rollout. Fnatic unable to score in the early game. Axed out of that laning stage and Execration. Really, really good positioning from them. They basically won them that first team fight, and that went into a landslide. This does uh, play a big factor having that early regeneration on uh, all players. Abeng is gonna soak up a lot of damage, and Paulos wants to target the Veno. He just needs the toss, but nice no, stun from DJ prevents him from getting it off. And now with the Carapace stun as well, the Shaman he's got a fairy fire, and it looks like he's gonna drop before Jay or Jabs does, giving that the first blood for Fnatic. He has been catching up to Raven. No longer really behind. Meanwhile, Raven has been maybe slowing down a bit on his CS. They are chasing DJ here, and there's the toss coming out from Palos into the shackles. That's going to be the first one for Execration. Fighting under the tower with the tombstone in the top lane with the Metamorph Raven. Looking for Tino to die, and Januel, he blocks the escape route. Nowhere to run. Just Look at net worth. Scanning. Look at Bob's net worth. Is not having a great time. Puck is now doubling the CS towards the back. So even with a missed rotation, maybe now they've caught themselves jabs. Coil snaps onto the Marcy. Armel ready with the illusory orb. We'll take down the carry. And they will look for the Shadow Shaman, making it a double kill for Armel. And meanwhile, top lane. They've got Raven. Got Raven. That's a good kill for them. Just need to secure it. And they will with the vision given by Shanks as he jumps into the tree. Was suspected if you've got that much traffic in the bottom lane. All that yep. said, so might Fnatic if they push Palos further. Typical kill though with all the stuff. Oh, the lasso on the mid lane. Remaining, but the lasso on the mid lane onto the puck. And they found Armel. Into the shackles from Abeng. They have very good single target control and making good progress towards the BKB. This BKB makes Veno, Nyx, and Puck. Yep. Do nothing against this guy for nine seconds. Absolutely nothing. Possible. And they found a nine. Havoc. Doesn't get a pushing wards, but gets a kill. And they kill Raven? Yes. Oh no. Fnatic. That hurts. They moved the Venomancer to mid so that Raven could play bot. And not only has the jungle now been dewarded, so there's no more space for him to play. Offensively, he has also just gotten defensively rocked. And they might get Palos for this now. Okay, it will definitely look like they will kill Palos here. Surrounded by enemies, takes the tower down, gives his life for it. He gets the money, but he will take a bit of a punishment with his death. Like, it's not like you get Midas and you get your first time like, oh, I can win the game now. It's like, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Definitely need a lot more to pump what? up. But but my pubs. <laughs> it's not like the last game where Mage Slayer would have Radiant's like a massive impact. A vessel could do some good for uh, Fnatic. Well, let's see if they decide to. Uh, after this Tino hunt, Coil and Metamorph both for the Razor. TPs are kicking in. Razor, sorry the uh, the Bat Rider is here, and they're targeting Raven. But there's also Armel. But Armel doesn't they have anything damage. remaining, and Raven is about to die, and he's dead. DJ with a stun onto two, catches the Shaman and the Monkey King that will take down Bob. But this puck is also completely out of mana. He does some stick charges to orb away, but he wants to orb in most likely. And he will, hunting for Abeng. Abeng able to with the jump away with a Tumblr toy. Does get slowed down by the Witchblade, but he's found himself a puck. The wards are down. The wards will do a lot of work here for some damage if they can keep the fight around here. Jams will die elsewhere, and they will get the Shaman kill. Shanks looking to take down that Tombstone. It does get some heals in, and, and here comes Tino. Back. He's already respawned for this fight. And Armel, he's got nothing left except another jump and 40 HP. 40 HP. Tino probably looking for that one plasma field for the connection, but Armel looks like he's already miles away, so this puck play pays off, and what a limit he pushed for it. The Marcy even war traps. The four staff is a phenomenal pickup this game. I think four staff is grossly underrated, but <laughs> this game Good is item. an especially easy argument. Oh, they found top, and they found Armel. There's the hex into the shackles, Tino with the damage, and Puck is down for the count. And Tino will pick a very juicy uh, 511 gold streak. Let's see if they can bait something out of Palos, but he is going to be under tower, so it's... 
not a very good idea to go any deeper with the bad rider with beauties at the ready lurking and they're doing oh, it though oh they're gonna get this one the stun's gonna be just enough with the needs from rml plus the creep wave who actually secure the kill a very handy tool to take down roche yeah. because those zombies will keep roshan busy 24 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that area control thing that we were talking about, it is a suicide mission to jump in here. Absolutely impossible. I mean, maybe... Jax would want to try, but uh, <laughs> it's found. Yeah, maybe for cheeky steel, but... Oh, good, maybe. Yeah. oh the Marcy comes in and he snatches it! Pilo takes it away! Raven is about to drop! He's gone! Execration surprised them! It's not even Shanks who goes in for the sacrificial play to get Roche for themselves, but instead he takes it! He takes the triple! And Fnatic have been shocked in awe! That would have basically shut the door on this game and instead it is wide open. It, that that moment where oh they they killed the scout shanks is dead uh the try is over i think Fnatic thought the same yep here goes dj Mel doesn't get much of a pull out oh, and finds oh, him with the shackle oh, oh, oh. and pops the lincoln's off of him and there we go he didn't actually even use the shackles for it, it was just the ether shock to pop the Lincolns into the hex to follow up with the shackles and that's a big kill that's a tower gone down they're three of their bkbs up as well so uh fanatic just trying to slow them down as much as possible the nova does connect onto tino and onto shanks but they can happily give shanks for a melee racks a tier oh, yeah. three a tier two an age is taken and an armel kill doesn't uh, get the tp home the poison sting <laughs> yeah abang's like i mean deny you but no BKB is used. Age is about to pop. This is a good opening from Fnatic. A good read from them, too. Coil yeah. used. Bob is out. Halos. BKB deep. Oh, he doesn't even have a BKB. No, no, no. Well, I'm going to have to sluggishly try to run it off, but I think they're just going to leave Palos to die. Yeah, he just accepts his fate. Love to kill Raven. He is playing it safe in the trees, but they see Manta Illusions coming out, so Shanks... All he needs to do is just provide a bit of extra vision. And they found Raven. He's exactly on the spot. And here's the Hex into the Shackles. Monkey King ulti. Link connected. They need just a bit more damage. But Armel's here for the silence and the four staff save. Bob brings him in with the lasso. They want to make sure that he actually does die. And he does get the Sunder off on Janua. And that will lose to the Monkey King. Raven will die as well. So they finally got him. Plus they take down the Undying. And Jabs will go down next with another slap from Tino. Make it a triple. Abeng did die to Armel and DJ and he's kind of defenseless right now but he does have Palos right next to him and they're going to wait for the coil and then maybe the Marcy jumps in but the race is already dead. Doesn't get the chance for it. Bouncy Rune stolen as well right in the eyes of Palos. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that uh, that video where the one guy's standing on the pier and the other guy's standing on the on the island and then they're just yelling on, <laughs> on the water at each other. <laughs> throwing in That's... insults. That's, is that is that Finland or or Sweden? Because that's definitely uh, it, some it, is, it is a Scandinavian country for yes. sure. But hey, there's a tombstone on top of a monkey king on top of an armel. That's a busy rock. Yeah, it definitely is. But the real fight's on the side. TB caught here and Raven down. Jabs is going to be followed up by Tino. He will get out of there, out of time. DJ goes into the buyback as Bob has finished him off. This fight is so chaotic. It's in so many places. Armel finding the jump on Abeng and Abeng down. Bob no lasso. Tino no more tools to fight right now. Palos, he does have some life steal with the sidekick. Might have to BKB on the edge of the coil. And he's going to get jumped on. And Armel's going to go down. And that's all the trouble gone. Palos, two man stun coming out. And look at the life steal from this sidekick. Genuel going down. Flame break on two. And Fnatic, you are getting team wipe as jabs no tp for you execration my lord armel tries his best with as much the puck can do but even the puck has its limits just not holding the position there like the only snag here is of course the latent toxicity that toxicity is going to be a bit annoying yeah still fanatic they want to fight this metamorph is ready every tool is ready 
And Tino's not here. He's Just the one with the hold. Aegis, and they find the jump with the Tinker Ward. But Bob gets a bit of survivability thanks to Shanks and gets the lasso. Going to be pulling DJ out of the fight. There's the Shackles coming out. Shanks does get his ulti off, but it's going to be broken as he dies. Raven with his BKB already used as well. And now in trouble. Palos is on the hunt. The Marcy wants blood. He wants a Terra Blade. That's one third gone. He needs a second burst for the second, but his BKB is already down. There's the stun. That's the second third. And that's the third as Palos. He just destroys them. Armel's gonna be next targeted up as well, and another hero gone. Jabs will be found as well, Tino. He's got the sheep stick. He will hex up the Venomancer oh and take God. another. And Fnatic is getting ripped apart. Execration triple for Tino. If you just stand there. And once again, DJ takes the engagement, hoping that he can get a quick burst pickoff. Get four staff to safety. Oh, he actually almost dies. Okay, <laughs> well, still has the ages. Deny me. Uh, Let me pop. Four man smoke behind the razor. He's got everything ready. Lasso is ready. Unleash is ready. Here we go. They jump on DJ. They got the Nyx assassin. That's the most important grab. They've got the A on this popping on the Venomancer. And Nyx is not coming back. Nyx is then... not coming back for 45 seconds. And this is going to be Mega Creeps as they finish off the Range Racks inside the Monkey King ulti. And Janual, here's the fight. They will go for it. But they've got the Hex instantly onto the puck. He's already down to half HP. Has the face shift, so they can't the catch onto the Undying. Not Raven really. trying to do as much work as he can on the back line. Here comes Palos. And look at Palos. He's forcing Raven away. <laughs> but he can't even get to the fountain. And that, ladies and gents, is the power of the Marcy. Crumpled him up like a piece of paper. Tossed him in the bin. Wow. Straight into recycling for the TB. <laughs> An execration 2-0.